In this video of JavaScript, we are going to deal with the dates. As date is a very important concept in any of the programming language, like whenever you want to calculate two intervals, so out of that we can start working with this date thing. So here we are going to cover some of the functionalities and methods which will help us out in JavaScript to deal with the date concepts. So let's find them out practically. Now here in this implementation of date functions, first of all I have created a new date object with the name dt in which I have just assigned a very random date with the time let's say December 15, 2016 and the time is 1625 seconds means 4 p.m. 20 seconds and after the 5 seconds more. Now first of all I have called the date function inside this I have not passed any object that means it will simply get the current date from the system so whichever date is running in your system it will simply get that and you can see here it's uh, alright yeah it's uh, Tuesday Jan 3rd and like this alright so it is simply showing you the today's date with the day month date year, time, minutes and um, uh, seconds all right along with the time zone as we are, we are here in the India it is showing you the Indian standard time which is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of the GMT. Now after that I am start working with this uh, DT object that is the DT and right after that you can see I have just printed the value. So, it will simply show you the value in the very same format that is December 15, 2016, 16, 20, 0, 5, GMT plus 530. Alright. Now, if I want to break the dates into smaller parts, like somewhere in your program you maybe just want to take the date of that particular uh, date or the month or the year, like that. So, we have the several methods like that, like get date, it will just take the date part. Uh, the day day will be returned as an index like the zero it will be Sunday one is Monday two is Tuesday and so on all right so since in that particular day we have the Thursday so it will return you uh, four the date is 15 the month is 11 it is December again zero for January one for February and so on so you will find 11 for December get full year is 2016 all right get hours 16 get minutes 20 get seconds 5 so this is how using uh, all these methods you can simply break down the single date into the various uh, different parts if you want you can concatenate them after that uh, using the colon as the uh, symbol for the separator and you can print them after making some manipulations after when you break the date into the smaller parts so you can use these functions for the date in order to make the process.